All right, here's the best strategy for Monopoly Go. Here's how you play this game. Okay, so these tips might be a little bit advanced, but I hope you enjoy and you manage to learn something out of this. So tip number one, fix your landmarks because it will make people attack you. So make sure you fix your landmarks as soon as you see that you, they have been damaged. You know how you immediately assume that somebody has no shields when you see other people have shut down their landmarks? Well, if all of your landmarks are fully recovered, then people will think that you have full shields and in turn they will try to go for another target. So this will save you a lot of headaches. So that was the first tip. The second tip that I can give you is don't save too much money. The game will make people rob your bank more often if you do. So I've noticed that the more money you have in the bank, the more bank heist you take. So when you're low on money, suddenly people seem to stop stealing from your bank. And a little bit of extra info, if somebody is inactive, the game will fake them having money when you get a bank heist on that person. That was just a little FYI. So that was the second tip. The third tip that I can give you is at the start of the new album season, try saving for the biggest box, which is currently 2,500 stars. Try to resist the urge to go for the 100 star box or even the 500 star box as the reward from the largest 2,500 star box is enormous compared to the others. However, if the album season is coming to an end and you feel like you won't gather 2,500 stars, as, as is the case right now, I have 12 days left and your best bet is spending your stars before the season expires. However, you have to know that each box you get has a 24 hour cooldown. So if you have 2,000 stars, for example, you want to start spending them four days before the season ends or else all of your stars will be lost. At the start of a new season, the stars don't transfer over, they're just lost. I just had to find out the hard way, unfortunately, and I lost about 500 stars last season. So that was tip number three. Tip number four is leave your landmarks at zero. Don't level them up, that way people won't be able to attack you. So if none of your landmarks are leveled up, then the game won't let anyone shut you down as there's simply no target to attack. This will save you shields and in turn, if you land on the shield tiles when rolling, you will convert them into dice, giving you more rolls. So basically keep your landmarks at a zero until you have plenty of money saved up, which is kind of contradictory, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. And then you just level them up at once when there's an event or just at once. So that was the fourth tip. And the last tip that I can give you is find an inactive person and keep attacking them. That's annoying, but it's effective. Look, I know it's kind of a scummy thing to do, but it's really helpful. Your best bet is choosing someone you know that doesn't play as often, but still plays often enough so that they repair their landmarks. So you want to start targeting them as many times as possible. This works especially well if they're a new player because they have a limit of three shields instead of the maximum limit of five. So keep attacking them. Even if they have shields, they're bound to run out at some point and then just make sure that you don't make the other person quit the game. Haha. <laughs> so thanks for watching until the end. Hope you managed to learn something out of this video. Leave a like if you found any of those tips helpful and I will see you next time. Bye.